people are like, what do you mean? Uh, I don't mean financial. Like, I, trust me, I want to have money. I think it's amazing if you can do great things with money. But I, I, it's like I have such amazing people around me. I have, you know, such a space to just do what I want to do and, yeah, and yeah. to just be who I am. Like, you know, the, the best thing is I have people who literally support me. Who I was like, Yeah, so I mean, even in, I, I was just about to say this too. I was, I was literally about to like unpack because of what, like whatever, like what we heard, like it's gonna get snowy or whatever. Yeah. So I was like, oh, fuck. But then I thought about, it, I was like, nah, fuck that. A snow? What do we hear? Yeah, cause it could snow or whatever. So oh. it's like then, yeah, this year you still see like whatever LA is still. LA, still. Uh, yeah, LA is still. California, cold. well not LA, California. Is still but LA is right now at fifty four. Yeah, yeah, some of the, and it's some, cold. That's cold as fuck. Yeah, yeah some places, some places are like. Are, like Cold exactly. Right so that's why I, for, I was I was thinking like, damn, do I need to like actually buy like long sleeves? But then I don't know. Nah, you got a new trash can. I'm a, no, didn't. This trash can was there. Ah, you yeah. see, we notice everything. Well, yeah, I would expect him to notice everything. I uh, basically you live here. here. Yeah. <laughs> Down near. Uh, George, why you move my bed? It doesn't feel the same. Goodness, man. You still, bro? Yeah, man. All right, man. All right, y'all. We back, back, back. But you know what I feel like today, man. I woke up today and I I don't know if you ever felt like your face is like puffy, like kind of like yeah. tired, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you drain. Yeah, like I need I need the gym, like you know to like. Get I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking like, yo, I need to sweat. Yeah, bro. I feel all like ah. I need to get a good pump. Ah. All right, bud. What you got for me today? You got you got something you want to talk about? <sighs> First of all, you see, like I just want to put that aside right now. Yesterday we were driving back. I was, we we're driving back um to Chris's house and I kept telling her like, Chris how. I know how Chris is a pretty boy because he <laughs> he sleeps with a roller on his head. So that every day when he starts his hair, he got that little girl shit right there between his eyes. <laughs> and I'm right, look at that shit. Yeah, I know you do, bro. You you get like a couple, three, four hairs and you roll them bitches up. I know you do, motherfucker. You be trying to lie. Look at you, bro. You got that shit right there. Oh, man, you're a savage. Who <laughs> would like like, take their time to roll? I know you didn't do it yesterday because yesterday you just wore a hat on you. Yeah. So I know you didn't roll your hair the day before. But yesterday, you like, you know what? Let me roll Let it. Let me do it for Sunday. I'm going to get Sunday. I knew it, bro. I knew it. All right, man. Let me serve that. Let me serve <laughs> Come on, bro. Hit me with something, bro. What's on your mind, bro? Oh, what's in my mind, man? I know what's in my mind. Hmm. Talk to these people, man. Let's see. What do I have lately? What have I been thinking about lately? Oh, man. Mm, I don't know, man. I've been thinking life is great, honestly. Right? Like, I, I'm like I, I've, been, I've been on, like, such a gratitude gratitude high mm -hmm. that, like, you know, I don't know if it's maturity. I don't think it's maturity. I think it's just, it's, I think it's awareness. Awareness of, um, of my emotions and um, my surroundings. Like, I realized that a lot of times have so much to be grateful for but I, I i'm just so picky that i pick on the things that i don't like or i'm not pleased with that i let that consume me instead of gratitude leave right, me, right, you right. know so lately I, I don't know lately like things have been so evident in front of me that i would have to be blind physically spiritually and mentally yeah. to not be able to see how good my life is like, actually run that like you know yeah. so I've, I've been filled with grace and, and, and gratitude and i think it's just that has been driving me the last couple of weeks like People, people were telling me, you know, uh, you know, there's a, there's a certain peace about you. Yeah, yeah. And, and now lately, like, even more than normal. Yeah. And then they were like, uh, like some, one specific person told me, like, I feel it just by sitting next to you. Yeah. And then, you know, and I just started laughing, but I think it's just that. It's like, it's like a certain gratitude that is just overflowing. Like, I don't uh, have to say it, right. but I just I feel just feeling, so yeah. grateful for life and for, you know, the things that God has allowed me to see and allowed me to do. Yeah. That I, I feel like, you know, it's so easy for us to, to just bash because... Yeah. We can talk about how self-centered we are, we can talk about how arrogant we are, blah, 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 about our culture, about social media, about yeah. news, politics, and we can always talk about something and find the bad in it. Right, right. But I just, I appreciate that lately God has been allowing me to see just the good in everything, you know, like yeah. how, you know, it's not where I want it to be, it's not, I'm not completely satisfied with my own life either, there's mm -hmm. a lot I need to tighten up, but it's, it's good, 
you know, and, and just just enjoy it. Just immerse yourself in that moment and enjoy, you know, the people you have around, you know, the experiences you get to share together, the memories you have. Yeah, yeah, man. And that's been driving me lately, bro. I, 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 like I said, I feel the same way, man. Just um, on on that, on that specific note, too, but, like, it's, I feel like it's, like, a human thing to, like, kind of look at the bad over the mm-hmm. good. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's always, it, for some weird, and I, I guess I don't know what it is, like, I don't want to say negativity always, like, trumps positivity, mm-hmm. but it seems like, I guess, I don't want to say society all the time, but it seems like, you know, in, in like, this day and age, is like that, right? Like, it's like, you know, um, you could get, a, like, ten compliments, and you get one bad critique, and... That will waste more than anything else. Yeah, that weighs more than anything. You're like, like, you kind of dwell on that, on that bad thing, which I don't, I don't, I guess I never really gave it, like, a deep, deep thought. I'm not sure what it is, but I guess it just brings out a lot of like um like insecurity within us. You get me? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's like a like a self fulfilling prophecy. Like you already have insecurities, mm-hmm. so forget the ten compliments, yeah. right? It's that one negative that you're like, yes, I knew it, and now they know it. Yeah. And it's like eh. so, so. So it's almost like you find validation in that negative yeah, thing that exactly. they say. Exactly. Like, like you already yeah. like you already don't feel qualified. Right. So then everybody tells you, no man, you're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing. Mm-hmm. But that person says, no, nah, I don't think you're that good. And you're like, yeah, see, I knew it. I knew people knew that I yeah, was that good. And then you kind of like well, you kind of uh, dwell on it, resent on it. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, man. But but like, I think that like, yo, what you said is like absolutely right, man. Like you know, um, for me, like even like, so like, all right, so like, I told you, like, I told you the news on Friday, yeah. right? Like you know, like work wise, you know, it's like gone like really well, and you know, it it didn't take that for me to realize, like you know, just to be grateful. I've been I've been thinking about this for weeks now. You get me? Just thinking about like. The position that I'm in, like, you know, now, like, you know, the fact that I get to live in my parents' house, I get to work, I have the freedom to make, you know, choices mm-hmm. that I want, you know, so it, all of that brings me to the exact same thing, like, you know, it's like, damn, like, you I gotta be thankful for it, you get me, like, yeah, I gotta yeah. be thankful, like, you know, I, I think about, like, how, like, I just thought about this recently, how, like, damn, so I'm 23 now, and I was 19, I got my first job, that's, what, four years ago, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, that's four years ago, so just to think about, like, four or five years ago, like, it took that long for me to double, I, I get, like I say, like, my income. Yeah. But I never really, like, I was I was never aiming to double my income. You know what I'm saying? It was just happening You were just me. going. Yeah, like, I was just doing. Like, I was just going, like, you know, with the opportunities that were handed to me. And I was just, you know, just, just living my life. And then it just happened. You know what I mean? And I couldn't just, like, I was, like, you know, so whatever. Friday hits, and I was just, like, crazy amazed. Like, I was, like, I... Like, I couldn't stop, like, internally praying, I guess. So, like, just, like, yeah. thanking God because it's crazy to me how, like, like, I don't, like you know, you, you hear about, like, you know, you just grind and keep your head down, you keep your head down, you keep going, you keep going. It's what we talk about in this channel is what oh, we kind of preach yeah, to yeah, people all the time. So. You know, but then, like, when it really hits you, it really happens for you, you kind of just stop thinking, like, damn, like. Yeah, it's like a humbling moment. Yeah, you know, like, and, and it's something that, like, you know, you weren't, ex- like, I wasn't expecting until I look back, you know, and they always say that, like, you know. Sometimes you have to look back, you know, like or what you've been through to understand where you are now. Yeah, exactly. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. you know, you know, we live life so much and we're kind of just going every day, every day, just kind of mindlessly. You get me? And then we don't really realize how far we've actually mm-hmm. come. You know how how much we've grown, and it's crazy to think like, yo, like fuck, like yeah. I've come this far. Like it's like, sh- exactly. Like, yeah. it, it was something that you you don't really have in mind. Like, I mean, I didn't, you know, I didn't sign up to think like, yo, I, like you know, I know there's people that you know. Each year, like, they probably, like, yo, I want to make this much this year, right? Like, I want to make this much this month. Like, I know there's people that set up those kind of goals, mm-hmm. you know? I don't really set up those kind of goals, yeah? At least for me, like, it, it, it's not something that, like, you know, okay, well, this is what I want to accomplish, like, you know, blah, blah. Now, there is, obviously, goals yeah. I want to accomplish throughout the year and stuff, but it's not necessarily, like, you know, those those kind of specific type of goals. Again, it's, it's, I guess it's a little different. So, you know, when you just kind of live in life and those kind of things happen, I, I'm, first, I'm beyond grateful. But then there's another part of me that thinks, is there something bad that's going to happen next? Really? Yeah. So is, is that, that that we play on, the negative, negative Yeah, things? exactly, the negative. It's like everything's going so well, something has to go Yeah, on. it's almost like, damn, like, I don't know, like, things are going too good. You know, like, you know it's like yeah. the too good to be true kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Is something bad going to happen? Is something, I don't know, you ever experienced, like, that kind of, like, emotion? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, that, that kind of uncertainty? Yeah, right? like, right. I, I don't know, it's, it's like... All right, can everything go this good for for can it be sustainable? Right, like yeah. you know, cause I mean, mind you, I'm not I, I personally don't have a hand in what's going good. You yeah. get me? Like I feel. You get me? Like I like like I always said, like you know, the things that make me happy, hanging out with friends, going to the movies, those are like you know, critical yeah. like <laughs> yo staples. You get what I'm saying? Like, like the, those are the things that I, that I enjoy like genuinely doing. So and I I do that all the time. Mm-hmm. You get me? So like, I could always say like yo, I'm, um, 
I'm unhappy. I'm depressed. Like, I can't really say that. You know what I mean? So, um, but then, I don't know, you kind of start to think, like, damn, okay, like, everything's going well. Everything's going well. What? I don't know. Is something bad going to happen? Like, you get what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, I guess I'm, I might be overanalyzing the situation, but sometimes I just think, like, damn, what? I don't know. Something... Because it's almost like, yo, everything can't just be going, flowing super good. Like, yeah. is there going to be, like, a challenging moment? That's mm-hmm. really what I mean by a bad thing. Like, there's going to be something that's unexpected that knocks you down. And, you know, the thing is that you don't realize, like, you know, conflict and challenge when yeah. it's presented at first. You get know I me? Mean? Like, sometimes you don't really have the opportunity to realize, wait, this is something I'm supposed to go through. Because it's going to make me stronger yeah. when I make it through. Yeah, you don't see the purpose in this sometimes. Right. Like, I, when it's happening, you know, th- then later on you realize, oh, yeah. like, you know, it is. But I don't know, you never get those feelings, like, of, like... Yeah, I mean, I, I do, but I, I'm telling you, I usually get those feelings when I start getting focused on the on the, the bad things, right? Because okay. I've seen, like, you know, like, I, 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 I'll lose the confidence, yeah, yeah. right? But once I, I, I start... Think like a big picture yeah. and realizing, you know, one of my biggest realizations ever, and I think that happens almost constantly, is I could have never prayed for this life. Right. Like if I would have prayed for a life and God would have given it to me, it would have been crappier than than anything I could have ever actually experienced now. Right. Right. right? Because like you know, people was like, "What do you mean?" Uh, I don't mean financial. Like, I, trust me, I want to have money. I think it's amazing. I think mm-hmm. you can do great things with money. But I, it's like I have such amazing people around me. I have, you know, such a space to just do what I want to do and, yeah, and yeah. to just be who I am. Like, you know, the, the first thing is I have people who literally support me. Who I was like, I was just telling you like a couple of weeks ago. I was like, Yo, you're like a rock, you know, you're like yeah, somebody yeah. I can stand on, you know, uh, my family, uh, my friends, you know, people um, in my community, church, especially. And I, and I find that comfort of just being me, you know, yeah. and that that gives me the peace to that, that say like, you know, probably things will go bad. Yeah. But I'm going to be all right. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna you be get cool. me, right, right, and right. and so like you know, I can face the storm, yeah, because I know I'm not facing it alone. That is, so I think gives me that positive outlook of life. It's like always knowing that, yo, life is life, yeah. But in the downs and in the ups, I'm not alone. So good. I'm gonna be alright. Yeah, yeah. And I, I like that. You know, I was thinking about something similar. I was thinking the other day. I was like, and this is a while back. I was like, yo, you know, to have that mentality of wanting something to go bad mm-hmm. sometimes like like not necessarily like you know i guess in the, in the native but just like it's like welcoming challenge it's like yo like i can't wait for this to happen so yeah. i feel like mm-hmm. beat it Push up it, and yeah. then get up you get me and then you know to, I, I guess you know all, all of that is always like you know uh, it, it takes time like, like it's something i always say like in the gym right like yo something important about the gym is it's not about physical work it's about mental mm-hmm. work everything in the gym is mental you get me like your body could already do everything that you think you cannot do you get me i was like you know I, like i remember at the beginning i used to say like yo don't say what you can't do you get me because it's important that you're not saying i can't lift this because you can't lift it yeah, like, you, you can like your body's already like preset to do it it's just that it's always mental so it's also have like that like you know like i always say like before like a big lift for example right at least for me, I need to like mentally conquer. Yeah, like I need to like do it in my head first, and then go beast mode yeah. in my head before I do it, right? Yeah. And I think that that's important for a lot of things in life. You know what I mean, like you kind of need to like, you know, like like how people say like you need to see things like with a mm-hmm. clear clear eye view. You get me, and then conquer. So have like that preset mindset. Like if something does go bad, just know that okay, it's gonna go bad, and I'm, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna whoop yeah, its ass. Exactly. You know what I mean? exactly. I'm gonna it's, like, it's going to go bad, but I'm not going bad. Exactly. <laughs> you know, like exactly. I'm gonna be going to go through. Yeah, you know, there's a proverb that says. As a man thinks, he is. I mean, like, the way you set your mind yeah. is the way your life's at course. Yeah. You know, because some people who have crappy, like, crappy, crappy lives. Yeah. But their mind is so strong, their spirit is so strong, they press on. And then yeah. that's, those are the, those are the stories that we hear that, you know, like, the the triumph of human, the yeah, humanity, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, faith and heroes and whatever. And those people who said, yo, you know, my circumstance is not going to define my spirit. Yeah. You get me? My, my spirit is going to write my story. Right? Mm-hmm. And they push through. And I think that's it, bro. I think, you know, it's not just positive thinking. I think it's really having power over your mind and yeah. over your emotions. Saying, even when I want to quit, I don't have that option. Right. You, you know, even even when I feel like it'll be easier to go backwards, I already made a decision and I'm moving forward no matter what. I'm not looking back. Yeah. Right? Exactly. I, I think that that is what really drives us to this triumph stories. And, and, and having gratitude in perspective, saying things could be worse, you yeah. know? I, I not like that. Yeah, that I want to end it right there because you know, um, and this is that I've been getting a lot of thoughts to you know, come April twenty eighth, um, it'll be a year, bro. Twenty eighth, right? It yeah. is twenty eighth. Yeah. It'll be a year, right? That like since we started, I'm down. So like you know, if you were to go back, right, to the first episode till now, I think that 
Well, for one, you see growth in production, so let's get that one out of the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. Big, lighting, at least lighting for at sure. At least lighting is a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you, I think you'll see growth in conversations, you get me? And then, like, what we choose to talk about. And even though, you know, we'll talk about some shit, you know, some dumb <laughs> shit probably every now and then. But, you know, um, you'll probably see some growth in, you know, in, in conversation. But, you know, I was thinking, too, like, you know, for anything long term, it's it's crazy just to think, like, you know, 10 years, let's say, like, you know, this keeps going, right? And then 10 years later, you can really see the conversation that we went through in each, like, yeah, age. Yeah, like, every stage. You know I mean? yeah. Every stage. You get know I me? Mean? Like, the conversation, the growth. And it's all, like, documented mm-hmm. for anybody to see. You get know I me? Mean? Because, you know, mind you, it's always a thing of, like, the struggle in your 20s. You get know I me? Mean? The struggle, like, I don't have my life figured mm-hmm. out. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know. You know, I understand, Um, you know, like, people's, like, perception. And, you know, like, I, I haven't, I'm not there yet. And I'm not, I don't know if I'll ever get there yet, but I'm not there to the point where I'm like, oh my God, like, what, what am I doing with yeah, my life? You yeah, get me? I, stress I'm, level. Yeah, I'm not really there at that point. I'm just really just trying to like do the best that I can with what I have right now. You get me? And plan out, mm-hmm. you know, with the best that I have right now and just keep going. You get me? That, that's how I'm looking at life because most of the stresses that come through life is what I'm going to be doing for a living. That's mm-hmm. usually the biggest thing in your 20s. Like, you know. Oh, I'm 25. You know, you're saying that, like, you know, you thought that at 25 you'll be married yeah. and all of this. You get me? And you're saying that, you know, you're 25 in a couple months. And, and as I, far as yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, unless I mean, God like, comes and tells me personally, exactly, I ain't getting married. You exactly. Know? So, you know, uh, we put a lot of these, like, you know, I guess, like, dates on our lives. You know, like, oh, by 30, I should, uh, I should have a PhD and I should have a house, you know, and kids and all this, like, yo, like, you know, life is about more than where you are in life and your status and, you know, what your high school friends think about you when you go to a reunion and all of that stuff. You know, so that's why, you know, just everything is one day at a time, most importantly. But, you know, the best you could do, you have to try to do the best you do with what you have now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's, that's the best thing that we can do. And I think that it starts with gratitude. Of you course, know what I mean? yeah. Being thankful with where you are, what you have, because there's people that have less. There's obviously people yeah, that have yeah, more. Yeah, sure. But you got to be thankful with what you have and just have that positive mindset to just keep moving forward. Exactly. You know I mean? All right, man. So with that, we're going to end it right there. Once again, guys, thank you for watching, for supporting, for clicking likes, for sharing, for telling your friends. But when you guys see us out in the street, in the body, giving us props, all of that, man, we thank